Hey folks, Charlie Sims here and welcome to episode one of Keeping Up With The Parasites, a spin-off mini-series. Uh, it's off my main Let's Play, which is called, um, it's called uh, Snowy Escape Let's Play and I'll link that down below if you've missed it and we'll just make sure that the dog doesn't go to the toilet inside. And yeah, so here we have a Larry and our dog Lady and we will later introduce you to the rest of the family. They are introduced to they are introduced in uh, Let's Snowy Escape Let's Play Part Six. But for the sake of this, we will introduce them again. So let's introduce you to the family. So we have Gillian Parasite, who's a mom, a cool mom. Uh, she's kind of quirky. She loves her dog. She loves. Um, lady her great dane i really like her formal outfit yeah and these are her outfits she's a dog lover she's a perfectionist and she's family orientated so she doesn't like going without seeing her family for very long and then we have larry who is an ex-military man oh sorry um jillian is lady of the knits so she really wants to get good at knitting that's her kind of hobby and larry just wants a successful lineage i don't know whether that includes aliens but he does currently have an alien grandson and i'll introduce you to those briefly in a minute because they are introduced in my lp and larry is retired he's at, he's athletic he's outdoorsy and he's outgoing and i think he's a bit lost after his retirement from the army which is quite taxing this is jeremy who is winston's son and we see these in my snowy escape let's play and this is Lady, who is Gillian's dog, loyal, friendly and playful. And then we have Victor, who is possibly my favourite character from this family. He is self-absorbed and materialistic. He's a bit of a snob and he wants to be, oh, he doesn't want to be a master actor. He wants to be famous. He just wants to be famous. He doesn't care how he gets there. He wants to be famous and he doesn't care about school very much. And I love his rings. Uh, this is his summer outfit. This is his every day in his little machino tracky. And I love that. And yeah, these are the rest of his clothes, his sleepwear and his party wear, which is quite posh as well. <laughs> his swimwear, just repping those rings. And he's a teenager. So his parents are elders, he's a teenager and his brother is a young adult and he has a child son. So let's get back to them. Okay, so Lillian seems to have a death wish and she's lying down in the middle of a thunderstorm. So uh, we should probably get her to stop doing that. Her mood's pretty good though, so why not? Um, yeah, we're just going to get her to take a shower and get out of her wet clothes we're just waiting for vincent to come back from drama club um yeah whatever classic style costumes great work cool and is the dog okay yeah seems to be fine let's get um let's get larry to just look after look after lady I need to get used to the names and I think when Victor comes home he's going to invite round his neighbour Alice Martin uh, because he has a bit of a crush on Alice so he's just gonna try and smooth her I didn't mean to do that so here's Alice and I think because we're a bit of a prick <laughs> um we're gonna just like uh, yeah we're gonna brag about possessions I mean yeah we're just gonna do all that stuff uh just yeah complain about tv size we're just gonna be a dick um you know that's how the teens play it um yeah and we're gonna fish for compliments as well because that's just it's just who victor is you know oh awkward hand in face yeah and we'll just see how this goes <laughs> okay cool it's going well what's she sad about shared sadness shared sadness great but who's sad like, <laughs> um, I find that my sims are more sad with this update now. I don't know why. It's fine. I like it. I like the difference in emotions. We have our sad days. We have our happy days. Okay, we're going to use that. And then we're going to prevent our dog from using... <laughs> 
using our house as a toilet and we're going to have a short walk. How's it going with these two? I've got personality please on so I don't need to like spam the interactions. Oh cool, they're getting on well. Amongst the dog poo. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's show off our outfit. We're trying to impress her. Oh yeah, great. That that should go down well as we're in a playful mood. Have a little flirtatious joke. Uh, what else can we do? Maybe flirt. Oh, high five. Oh god, it's going so well. She is just loving his smarmy attitude. Well, each to their own. She's a teenager, so, you know, she's young. She likes idiots. And, yeah, we just asked her out on a date, so I think we're going to go and head up Bluebells and not drink because we are teenagers. Okay, let the smoozing begin. I mean, we already know that she's easily charmed, so this should be pretty easy. Uh, you know, she likes us, even though we're arrogant. I love a little outfit. Do you like the outfit I gave her? Um, let's... Let's give her a gift. Let's go ham. Let's go Factor 50, as they say on Love Island. And she's a bookworm, so this should go down well. Yes, she likes it. Good. Let's tell her an outrageous story, because we are apparently funny. I didn't think he had any comedy skills at all okay his empathy has gone up that's good we should maybe we could go for a first kiss um because it is going so well our bar's not that high though so it could be a bit risky but he is flirty so we're gonna have oh she's very flirty so i think we're gonna have a higher chance of this working out i love how often they change chairs oh <laughs> cute it's gone a little mental up in here. Um, yeah, she's dancing. Everyone's dancing. We've got Nancy Landgrab. We've got a load of militants. It's also alien night. Everything is happening in this bar. My God. Oh, we've got a sentiment. You made my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Meh, you can get that with anyone. Still, <laughs> um, hopefully they'll get a few more sentiments. And they're talking across the bar, okay? And he's a bit hungry, so I think um, there's no bartender, so we can't order food, unfortunately. He also hasn't done his homework, but he also doesn't care about school. So, yeah, we got gold. Amazing. Okay, and it is going really well. He's ecstatically happy. He's had his first kiss. He's so happy. It's probably time to go to sleep. We should also probably think about setting him a curfew because it's like half twelve in the morning. But before we leave, <laughs> we'll just do our homework before going back to the ruckus of home. It's now half three. He definitely needs a curfew. Okay, so we stayed out pretty late last night, this morning. And I think he's going to be copped by his dad because... Everyone's awake at half four, the nuts. I think we're going to get um, Gillian to do some knitting. And I think um, she'll... Because she wants, she wants another baby in the family. Um, off Winston, preferably. Not, um, not Victor. She wants Victor... Well, she wants Victor to do well in school. Um, but we'll see if he actually does do well at school. He's not doing well at school at the moment. Speaking of not doing well at school, it looks like Victor is having different ideas about going to school. <laughs> Just can't seem to get him, uh, can't seem to get him to go to school. Uh, so I guess he can, um, I'll just, yeah, we'll try that, but it's just not, okay, well we need to sort his needs out anyway, but yeah, he's, uh, He's not going to school today, he's just going to get some food out the fridge and then he's just going to ride his bike round the estate like a chav. Uh, and Lillian just knitted something, yay! <laughs> so Victor didn't even make it to drama club today, he fell asleep on the lawn. <laughs> so, and he's invited Alice over to uh, continue the wooing, which is going surprisingly well. 
because he isn't very charming. He just likes to fish for compliments and talk about how small um, the family TV is. But he's flirty already because he's feeling smitten. So this should actually go... Oh, so this should actually go pretty well, I think. Because he's... And um, because they're both in good moods, Alice is feeling playful. I'm going to go to the back lawn sneak out a little bit because it is quarter past 11. I mean, they're still like not off the lot, so he's not breaking his curfew or anything. And they are now boyfriend and girlfriend, which is super cute. Uh, it all happens rather quickly in The Sims. And <laughs> as you can see, they're now having a night of romance. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this here, and next time we will maybe use some mods to add some drama, and we will also be making sure that Victor goes to school, because he needs to go to school. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, please hit the like button, and if you would like to see more content from me, please hit subscribe. Catch you later.